Hello and welcome to our second full run of Primal Survivor. An important update came out with added difficulty. We're gonna try the Bone Crusher mode. And we'll use melee weapons doing this. There's two new classes, I tried them both. I'll tell you in the video what I think of them. I chose this one, I like how you can make more damage if you stand still and it's more defensive. This has relatively long range because it's a spare. So I decided to go with the shortest range just because I wanted a challenge, make it tougher. <laughs> because I'm gonna show you in a moment. In fact, let's look right now how long this thing is. See, I don't know if it's easier, but uh, it does uh, hit 50% less often. Slower attack speed anyways, I'll try it on normal mode. I'd rather go with a short weapon and go crazy. This was not easy, I tried several times. I'm gonna show you a successful run. The other character, so again, this one is really uh, based on pure defense, which will help. When I stand still, I make more damage. The other one is poison oriented. I think this is a chance of giving poison as I attack. And also my special attack or my ultimate is some sort of a poison cloud. So that's also an interesting character. I tried them both. This one is best for what I want to do in these circumstances. Playing a tougher mode with uh, such a short range. I will rely on attack speed again and never let that button go. Of course, I'm going to have to vary my runs, but that's how I was successful with the stone because I got all the achievements before they added these new ones. I made a short video, YouTube short, it looks like this. Now that's attack speed, you see what I mean? Anyways, at the end of the video where the recommended is, I will put it there. If you want to support it, give it a few likes, comments, something like that. It was not very successful because the game was still very, very new. Back to the action, I chose Ice, of course. I want to freeze any mob that's close to me. I also have the Entangle thing, trying to increase my raw damage and eventually attack speed, which does include run speed. This character does not increase run speed. I think only one has that. Frozen enemies take more damage. My run being at double speed is a vote that happened a while ago for Vampire Survivors and now I apply it to every single action roguelike game so you can play it in slower motion if you want to really see what I get. Sometimes it's pretty fast at the item. I said I'll do my best to comment on so here, whatever it is, <laughs> uh, I focus on ice and eventually you get these uh, blizzards. Okay, I'm going to max it out. That's my goal. And all I do is try to stay alive. I do have the mud shield. It's hard to see through. Um... So here I was not happy. There's no reroll. Only one character has reroll. Uh, okay, so now they have a little bit of poison, but it's pretty weak. It's almost useless, but maybe later on if I have more poison, it's going to become stronger. All right, I got a little confused here. So I have to start over this part of this voiceover. 25% cooldown reduction is necessary. It's part of the chain of uh, upgrades for attack speed. It's just that right after, something will distract me. So let's focus on what's going to distract me. This, I squeeze in between these two uh, little things for the wall. I'll get back to it because now bang, 5% attack speed, okay, uh, per second that I hold the button up to 100% of course, so I'm not letting go the left click button of my mouse unless I'm really forced to. What confused me though is I got it quicker than I expected. This one's for critical chance, now my crit chance increases the longer I hold the button up to, I forgot the number and you can go back if you want to see now, it's just ridiculous the damage that I make. But I don't have all the upgrades, I thought it would be was it changed? Please let me know in the comments. This confused me so much. Two things I wonder if that was changed. First is, normally I should be getting uh, attack speed and then more attack speed maybe, maybe that pull down reduction thing. And these things that I have right now where I hold the button will be the ultimate for attack speed. It wasn't like that before or I missed out on something. Maybe it was like that before or I'm being super lucky. 
because you're gonna see I don't have them on. I'm gonna get some normal attack speed even more, which will make me even more powerful. The boss though will take a while to kill. Now, let's go back to the square where you start. Level up and go for ice, hoping for that blizzard, we'll get it later. Back to that square I was talking about, is it easier now to go through the wall? A few rounds in a row, I went through the wall without being hurt at all. Please let me know in the comments. Or maybe I'm on fire, I don't know. So I'm just uh, trying to run away from mobs while holding the button for as long as possible, not letting go with a defensive build. The real test will be the final mobs in the last minute. Look at that, this is, and if you slow it down you can check, but this is a uh, normal attack speed, just attack speed and run speed. The stuff that you get early on normally, that's what I meant. Maybe I'll get the other one later on, because there's another one too. I couldn't find it early in the video, I scrolled through the footage, I couldn't find it. So these are the mobs that are quote unquote the test I was talking about. Here I go for crit chance now, even more crit chance. Yeah, so if I can stay alive against those and not get hit at all for a while, then that means I'm invincible. Here's the improved Shattered Eyes. So we got our Blizzard. This will do indirect damage to the boss. There's also poison 10 seconds before the boss appears, at double speed of course. And the boss will take a while, so I'll decide if I do a jump cut or not. Um, so yeah, he has a lot of health compared to the normal game. But let's remember though that I'm still a melee. Uh, with the other runs, I could hit the boss. Also, my tree, because at the end of the video, we're gonna look at the upgrades that I have right now. I should have changed my tree. There's a thing that pierces through mobs, completely useless, because this melee weapon already pierces through mobs. I assume so, at least I didn't test it, but it would only make sense, especially with the spear. Now, I'm not gonna change it unless I have to. I'll try the spear on normal difficulty, but if I have trouble, I'm gonna have to change it and uh, I'll show all that to you. Now I got hit multiple times because I lost my mud shield, my uh, class related shield and a heart. So that's three hits. This is pretty strong by the way. Uh, even more attack speed if I crit twice in a row. I wonder what my crit chance is. It's probably high. Is there a place where we can see our stats? That would be really nice. So I continue to try to damage the boss indirectly. I sort of hit him. That's why I got hit. I will hold the button and be super aggressive on the boss. But if I'm too aggressive, it's dangerous. So right now I'm chilling a little bit and I want to keep my uh, shields. Again, the uh, mud shield is a little difficult to see through my uh, class shield, but we can see a brownish aura. So I do have that mud shield. There's no way I should fail this unless I fall asleep or pass out in the middle of the run. It's just that the boss can take a lot of abuse and I can't hit it all that much. Something related to critical strike was too fast. I don't know what that is, but I'm really curious to know if my crit chance is 100%. That would mean even more attack speed non-stop, the 20% extra attack speed if I crit twice, right? I don't know about that. And I have a, a lot of uh, bones also. Tons and tons and tons of bones. So when they add more stuff in the tree, it will be very easy to get. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the roadmap that the developer put out, if you're interested in it, okay? A lot of cool things is coming up, I'm super happy. I missed that update. That because, uh, you know, in Steam, I did not enable or disable the auto update for games that I make videos on, I always manually update them. Then I would have seen there would have been an update, it was too late. Now I have no good option, so let's go with summoning. So I'm gonna start summoning now. Um, but we're almost done. There's about a real life one minute left to this boss fight, so I'm gonna add timestamps in this video, uh, just in case you get bored. Normally I don't for runs like this, so for games like this I mean, I don't put timestamps, rarely. 
uh, it's more for complicated videos like Leave Lore Revolution, uh, Idol Slayer, Le uh, Legend of Idol, Idol Scaling, etc. Where there's a lot of chapters and I put a lot of timestamps, but not in these runs. Uh, in this case, I will though because the fight is pretty long and uh, we're almost done. There's no health bar? I don't know if we should have one though. Probably not. What do you think? Do you think uh, mobs and boss should have health bars? Remember if I stand still I do double damage, so that's something I do, I take a little bit of risk now, I have 3 health. Now poison wave, <laughs> getting stronger and stronger as we go, and I'm killing him. So yeah, if I stop moving they're all over me, but I do double damage. It's a nice class, I like this class, but I prefer range. Bone is still my favorite weapon, no question about it, because I did try to spare enough. So Bone is my favorite weapon by far, so far. And we'll see what's next. Uh, I didn't check the roadmap, I'm gonna show it to you, but I didn't check the roadmap before doing the voiceover. I assume there'll be more levels, of course. So anything, there you go. <laughs> Here's three achievements, okay. Uh, anything new, I'll make a video if you're interested, depending how this one does. So let's look at upgrades. I'm gonna get confused for a second, you know, just clicking around. Okay, let's go. So what do I have? I have increased freeze chance by 5% per level, freeze duration, okay. Uh, chance of burning and easy by 5% per level. That's good, more XP, right? And then burn damage by one per level, but fire is not useful for melee. So I should get rid of fire in theory, right? More attack speed. The piercing thing I was talking about. So I should probably shuffle a couple of things around if I have trouble with the spare. If not, I like the bone a lot, so I don't have to worry about it. But I suspect there will be more mini weapons in the future. And that's more damage for myself. And on the right, maybe there'll be poison in the future. And I have what? A million, three, 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 one, one, nine bones. Let's see how this video does. It's going to be important to see. This is a second pilot episode, okay? If you want a series, I'll check for views, likes, comments, and subscriptions. Don't be shy and uh, don't hesitate to check my short video if you want to see that sick attack speed with the bone. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.